Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and before we do get into the video though, I'd just like to say we are still doing the giveaway on the channel, and it is almost up. Because we had a thousand subs, I'm giving away this ARC Trooper 3 pack, and you do have to be subscribed to the channel to enter, and then after that, all you have to do is go comment on my giveaway video, which is actually linked in the description and pinned in the card right now. Make sure you go and check that out, because you do have to comment on that video to enter in the giveaway, and uh, if I didn't mention already, I'm giving away this ARC Trooper 3 pack. And uh, yeah, there's like two days left to enter, I'm giving it away on uh, this Saturday. So if you do want a chance to win, make sure you go and check out all the details on how to enter. And uh, yeah, you guys have like two days left, so if you do want to enter, make sure you go check that out. And on to the video. So there are five total credit collection figures. And coming in at number five as the worst credit collection figure is actually the credit collection Death Trooper. And I only put this on the last of the list, or the, the bottom of the list, because uh, the credit collection is supposed to be pretty much... A version of the figure from the credits of the TV show and uh, while this is of course a death trooper uh, I just don't think it really uh, mirrors that end credit photo uh, I feel like they had to add a different splash of color to it so they just added some like weird orange and pink color dots to it and stuff and in my opinion it just ruins the figure it doesn't really reflect the 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 end credit very well and it just kind of ruins a perfectly black death trooper like i would think i would have rather them done just a plain black death trooper than did what they did with this so that's why it does come in the number five spot coming in at number four is uh this one might surprise you guys but it's actually the heavy infantry mandalorian i think that this guy is a really cool figure i absolutely love the character from the tv show and uh this is one i really want actually but the problem with it that i see is again the credit collection figures are supposed to represent the uh, end credit photos. And the biggest problem with that is that this guy is practically identical to the original figure. I could not, if you put these two in front of me and like didn't show which one is which, I couldn't tell you which one was the credit collection one and which one was the regular one. That's how similar they are. And uh, don't, don't get me wrong, it mirrors the, the th end credit scene perfectly, but I just think it's not different enough to go out and buy this one than the normal one I guess you could say I mean of course it is just another release of this guy which is amazing but I just don't think the colors are different enough to really uh, put this guy up on the list coming up at the number three spot it was actually a very valuable figure now with the actor recently getting fired if you haven't guessed it it's Cara Dune and uh, this didn't go up higher on the list uh, I think that it represents the end credit pretty well this is one I actually do own and I actually really like the figure but uh, again, there are some of those like splashes of color on the figure that don't really belong there. Like, uh, it adds more color to it, but it's not on the actual end credit at all. And they just added in color there to be there, I guess. I don't know. It's just really weird in my opinion. I don't know why they did it. And it looks all right. It doesn't look half bad. It just looks like it's like weathered in a weird way. But it just doesn't re represent the uh, the end credit very well. But where I do give this credit is like the hair and then the armor it is actually pretty much perfect to the actual end credit and that's one thing I do like. So it uh, it's better than some of the other figures but it's still not perfect so that's why it comes in at the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot is one that I originally put at the very bottom of the list but actually making this video and looking at this figure is not one I personally own but it's one that I really want now and it's actually the IG-11. Uh, I think this guy just absolutely knocks it out of the park with uh, representation to the actual end credit. The colors on this guy are pretty much perfect for a comparison, and they, they're amazing. I absolutely love how this guy looks. You can have him as, honestly, you can have him as just a rusted out, like, IG-88 droid, or just, like, one of those hunter droids. You can just have it, like, a rusted out one. You could put it in the back of a diorama as, like, a in a sand crawl or something. You know, there's so many uses for this guy. And plus, I just think he looks really cool. Is he as cool as a normal silver one? Probably not, but I think that it mirrors the end credit scene perfectly. And uh, overall, I do really, really like it. And uh, that only leaves one spot left. Number one is, of course, the Mandalorian. I think that this guy is the coolest figure only because he has the coolest end credit photo. I think that it, again, the colors are pretty much mirrored perfectly from the end credit to the figure. I think that there, it's like the colors are awesome as well. Like they're so uh, bright and flashy. It's something I really like, and it's a nice like uh, flash of color compared to the original Mandalorian. And uh, it's one of those things where like I think it has the coolest like end credit scene, like end credit card, and that's why it uh, comes off as one of the coolest figures in my opinion, number one. 
uh, I think that even from the actual figure itself to the weapons, it all is just amazing. And uh, it's, it's just amazing. I love the card, the weapons, and the figure. It's I've my by far the best uh, credit collection figure. And one that I highly suggest you guys go and pick up. I believe it's in stock on Amazon right now. It's a really cool figure if you did miss out on the original Mandalorian or you don't have one. I think it's really cool and it definitely gives me like Kenner Boba Fett vibes, which is a figure that I really, really want. So maybe that has a little bit to do with it, but anyway, that is the end of the list. A little bit of a shorter video this week, but thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel so you get entered into the giveaway. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, before I leave, comment down below, what do you guys want to see next for the Worst to First series? I got uh, several in, in mind, but I want to know what you guys want to see, so comment down below, and uh, on to the next video.